Okay, this is on how to install ChemStation CDS and this is version 1.07 service release 4. I've already extracted the files from the zip file which you can download provided you have the license agreements and the data file and then we will go into disk 1 right click on the setup and run this as administrator which should start the installation. Dot 3 framework needs to be active. If you need to activate that feature, in turn Windows features on and off, you will see that the uh, .NET Framework 3 needs to be turned on if you haven't done so already. We are not going to run through the system configuration checker. It might be useful if you want to launch that tool to check required prerequisites. We're going to go for just the OpenLab CDS installation. And this will also do a system preparation check, system verification check. I will keep these default and you will see there's a software verification that's run after the install. It's for a standalone workstation. The default folder is going to be C drive chem32 and no central storage. Then we can start. We get an error message to say that no Adobe Reader is installed. That's okay. We've got H. So some system checks are run before install can happen and you might get a report to highlight some of those errors that need to be addressed. After the install has happened you will see the so uh, software verification tool is running and that should give you a report of the installation outcome. So the final report might look like this where the software verification is run the overall evaluation might be a pass or a fail, and you can see what was installed in terms of the drivers, uh, the GC and the LC drivers, as well as the version. So we can then finish. We might have to restart, and that's then what ha needs to happen next. Okay, so the next step after the restart is starting the control panel. And in here, we need to configure our instrument that's running in the back. So we would create a new instrument. We can call it LC1. Give it a description. Ensure we select the right instrument type. Click OK. Now we can configure the instrument. And Yes, we want to do auto configuration and in this case you would plug in your IP address of the connection. In this case I've got a LC configured and these are my configurations. It's worthwhile to check your uh, syringe sizes and your loop sizes as well as the analytical head size. So once configured, we can then start up ChemStation. We can hit the launch button from there, and we can also create the shortcuts for the desktop. So we can launch it from the desktop. So this is what the interface looks like the first time you start it up and some of these menus might have to be moved around. Just to briefly touch on licensing you also have to ensure that you load your license file. For this you would need to go to the SubscribeNet, Agilent SubscribeNet, your account you've created and from there on 
enter the entitlement information which can then generate licenses and you would then upload the .lic file or paste the contents of that file here and then activate the license. This link get license would also take you to the SubscribeNet account where you would log in with your user details. If not, you can also register.